So I figured what a good way to end 20. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yoyis. So obviously by the title of this video, you guys want to know about my last journey so far. So I figured what a good way to end 2020 by talking about my last journey so far. And especially since um, it's about to be almost one year that I've been on YouTube. Well, I started in January but didn't really get into it around March when quarantine happened. That's when I started taking it very seriously because I had nothing better to do. <laughs> but um, I feel like with this video I'm going to get a little deep I guess you can say. I wanted this video to be as real as possible and just be, just get on a deeper level with you guys. And on my channel you guys already know that I don't like keeping circuits from you guys and i want to keep it as honest as possible and i figured well why not end the year off by telling you guys my last journey so far and i know a bunch of you guys have wondered anyways because i get questions on the daily about my last journey and i feel like i kind of scare people off in a way <laughs> So if you guys have been wondering about my last journey and how I got to where I am today, then this is kind of not really going to be an inspirational video. I feel like most of my videos are already inspirational, but I wanted this video to be honest, like as honest as possible. And I, I wouldn't say that I had a bad journey because I know all of us go through our own struggles, our own difficulties. And I don't want to say that I, I had it easy or I had it bad, but um, why don't we just start back from the beginning? So I started, well, let's just say that I started my YouTube channel as more of a diary because I've only been lashing for two years. So I am not a professional and Pretty much what I teach you guys is what I know and I want to keep taking courses, I want to keep taking trainings and I want to get better and better and better and and I know how hard it is to be a beginner lash artist and not know who to go to or trust or ask questions. So that's why I made my YouTube channel because I wanted to help out the new girl. I wanted to make it as easy as possible for you guys because I know how hard it is not knowing like if you, what you're doing is right. So again i'm not a professional i'm only teaching you guys what i know and what helps me but if i could make your job easier that's what i'm here for so let's backtrack a little bit when i first got started i i ended up taking a course that made me feel like i didn't know what i was doing obviously i know a bunch of you guys feel the same way that when you you know they just throw you out into the world and tell you okay i taught you and that's it you go do what you need to do don't bother me and that's it you know and i feel like that's what it was for me especially because you know whenever i had a question they really weren't there for me so i pretty much had to learn everything on my own i and honestly i had um watched every possible youtube video there was on lash extensions and during that time when i first started there wasn't that much around i feel like the only one that that i really learned from a lot was danielle mount um she was the only girl and i think danielle was barely fairly new i think she had barely come out with a couple videos during that time um so shout out to danielle because she had helped me out so much her videos are seriously the best and if you guys don't know who she is are you even in the lash community? <laughs> I'm just playing. So before I even got started, I was all about it. I was watching every video that I could. I was on Instagram. I had already made an Instagram account and I already had my name. I had my business set up, everything. I was ready to go. So I felt like I learned more by watching videos than what I actually did on my course. And it's kind of sad to say, you know, because we're giving away our money we're paying people to to teach us and you feel like you didn't really learn anything like i didn't know how to hold the tweezers like i it was a hot mess for me and it sucks it sucks to say that i wish i would have taken a one-on-one -on -one, like a more personal training and started off slow because when i took the course i went in full force and i wanted to learn everything and it was more bang for my buck i guess you can say which i'm not complaining because I'm, I was able to just jump right in and do all types of sets. But I wish I would have started off slowly, like learn just classics and then 
started working my way up into more advanced stuff but I feel like in a way that has helped me grow so much and it helped me just you know hit it hard I struggled a lot in the beginning I felt like I depended on my friends and family a lot I told myself oh well I, I have a lot of sisters I have a lot of friends and they're all gonna bring me their friends and I'm gonna have so much clientele and it's gonna be so easy for me and none of that happened <laughs> it was the complete opposite like I I felt kind of sad about it you know because I in my mind I thought like oh I know so many I have so many friends and they know so many friends and they know a lot of girls and they're gonna bring me in people and when it didn't happen I'm just like why like why won't they help me out you know so it put me in this like little bubble where I felt like nobody even cared what I was doing you know and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably went through that where you guys depended on your friends and family to bring in their friends you know and their family and their friends whatever and it didn't happen and it made me realize that I, I can't depend on anybody to do this for me you know I needed to go out there and get it done so I started going to the mall I was at the gym I was at the grocery store just handing out my business cards and I was doing the best that I could to bring in girls and my first year was like so hard for me I probably only had three loyal girls coming in to me for like a whole year and I would get a couple of new girls here and there but they would never stick around I only had three girls guys for a whole year I was making about a hundred bucks a month probably even less the most I ever made was like 200 and that was like on a good month for a whole year it was like that and you know I was determined and I was like yeah like I'm gonna do this like I'm not gonna give up like it sucked you know because on the back of my head it was like what if I don't make it you know like what if what if this is as far as I come and you know like those li little negative doubts start creeping in your mind and and it kind of puts you in that position where like you know you feel like you're not good enough and speaking about that I struggled a lot with timing so I was in that my timing is bad like I am never gonna be good enough and you know in the beginning you kind of are made like taught or kind of make you believe or make you think that if you're not lashing under two hours like if you're not doing a full set under two hours or doing a fill under one hour it makes you feel like you are not good enough and you know as the months go by you keep asking yourself why I'm why I've been lashing for six months or I've been lashing for a year and I still can't get it under and it really puts you in that position where you're just like I am never gonna be good enough you know like it takes like <sighs> and I know I get it because I was like that you know I I felt like I was never gonna be good enough because my timing was you know so like it was so long you know I used to take such a long time to do sets and I remember the last time that I ever felt like that and made me realize like oh my god like I've been looking at this completely wrong was I had a girl come in I had a girl come in and she was getting her lashes done by a you know a very popular salon here in Vegas and they would only take she told me that they would take like an hour and a half two hours the most to do a full set and every time she you know she wanted by two weeks she needed a full set so every two weeks she was going in needing a full set because the lashes were not lasting so she was paying a grip of money for the type of lashes that she was getting so when she came to me when she had found me on instagram she had asked me what are my prices how long do i take and this this and that and the fact that i told her like at that time i was charging i think a hundred dollars for mega volume she like flipped out because she was charging three times of that at a salon you know so she's all like i don't care how long you take like book me in right now so when i had booked her um she obviously she came in and it took me about five six hours to do a complete full mega volume set and i'm talking about thick like her she had a lot of lashes and i made those lashes very very thick and she was like surprised like she when she opened her eyes she was so amazed because she's like i've been wanting this and every time i would go to the salon they were only lashing for two hours and they said that that's as thick as they could get them for that amount of time and so she's like i'm paying them 
you know x amount of money and they weren't giving me the time the right amount of time to get me as full as i wanted she's all like so i got fed up you know and she told me i don't care how long it takes you well obviously she was happy about them and she said that she doesn't care how long i take as long as i keep doing what i'm doing and that completely changed everything for me because i'm like the fact that she's going to a professional place a professional place and she's paying x amount of money just so she doesn't get the kind of quality service that she wanted that she was paying for and she had to come to me to be able to get that like that made me feel so good about myself and it was during that time when i was really really doubting myself to the point where i'm like i will never be like fast enough i will never be good enough you know and she made me look at it from a different perspective and i put my heart and my soul and my love into what i do so when she noticed it she's all like i don't care how long you 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 take just keep doing what you're doing like that made me feel so good about myself and ever since then i don't care how long i take i don't care if i get a new girl asking me how long you take how much you charge i tell them this is how much i charge because this is how long i take and if you don't want it if you don't accept it then whatever you know and i get a lot of girls that still say like i don't care how long you take like i just i want your lashes you know and it makes me feel good you know because even my clients that i've been having for a while now even they're like i could see you know the difference in your work that you do compared to other girls and most of my girls that i have now are were from other girls here in vegas they were going to other salons or other girls other lash artists here in vegas so they see the difference you know the amount of work and the time that i put into my lashes they notice it so to me time I don't care about time anymore like it's it's not important to me yes i do try to keep my you know full sets under three to four hours depending if it's a wispy mega volume i am gonna take four hours i don't care i'm gonna take four hours because first of all already styling a wispy set takes forever <laughs> <laughs> just the styling alone takes forever and to get them as thick as they want depending on the health of their lashes it's gonna take me a long time you know especially because mega volume is more tedious so when it comes to mega volume i do take a little longer but now that's one thing that i don't stress out about i really don't care another thing that i really struggled with at the beginning was the inner corners <laughs> and i'm pretty sure i mean you guys already know because i've talked about it in a lot of my videos was the inner corners and i deliberately didn't lash the inner corners because it was so hard for me so so hard that i i would avoid them at all costs and i noticed that in the beginning that's probably why i was losing a lot of potential loyal clients was because most of them would be like you didn't get the inner corners they look really bad like the inner corners you know i know you're i see i can see some of my lashes why aren't they lash and i would tell them no you're not supposed to lash those eyes. that's how it's supposed to look like if i lash them i'm gonna damage your lashes <laughs> i would lie to them and i would feel bad because i'm like i'm sitting here telling them that they're not supposed to be lash but they could see that you know like half of their eyes were like lashed like only from the middle to the outer corner were lashed and then you see that they had nothing in the inner corner and you could see it but i would lie to them you know and what made me <laughs> what made me think like oh shit i need to get my shit together <laughs> was one day i remember i was at i was at the san diego zoo with my husband and my friends a while ago um and it was like way like in the very beginning when i first started lashing i had a girl uh, message me she's not like hey um i've i really like your work i was i was wondering like i had a couple questions she's like i just went to a girl like i just got my lashes done and what i had asked her for they looked that it's not what she gave me and then she started sending me pictures she's like i had a question she's all like um she didn't lash the inner corners and you could tell right away she's all like but i'm wondering if this is normal because she told me that you're not supposed to lash the inner corners and i i know for sure you're supposed to lash the inner corners because i have lashes in the inner corners <laughs> and i'm like oh my god i'm doing that like 
if she's talking about the girl that did her lashes like you could straight up tell that she didn't have any lashes in the inner corners and that's what i was doing to my girls you know and when she had told me like i know for a fact that this is not right like it like give me your professional opinion like i felt so bad because i'm like i'm doing that to my girls and if this girl is coming to me asking me if this is normal i could only imagine what my girls were going and asking other girls you know so it really like just shocked me into reality and made me realize that i was messing up you know and of course <laughs> me trying to get a new client i'm like oh no that's that's not normal oh no she didn't lash the inner quarters <laughs> And I, I felt bad, you know, but when she came in, I made it my mission to do the inner corners first. And that was the first time I ever actually did a full set with the inner corners. And I feel like that's the reason why I always start off with the inner corners first is because she made me realize that, you know, I was doing that to my girls. And if she came to me asking me if that was normal, I could only imagine what my girls was were going, you know, asking other girls because they weren't coming back, you know? So, um, <laughs> so that happened. And that's why I always teach you guys in my videos that to get the inner corners, to make sure that you always get the inner corners because you obviously don't want to be losing clients or that have them going around asking is this normal so make sure you are on top of that so i remember about six months being into my last journey and i wanted to learn how to do wispy sets so bad and i feel like it was around the time when wispy sets were becoming very very popular um because when i first got started it was just the basics you know just you know the straight perfect lash line and around my six month journey that's when wispy sets were like becoming very very popular so i'm like i want to learn how to do wispy sets like i'm gonna make it my mission to learn how to do wispy sets and get it guys at that time i was only making a hundred dollars a month like i couldn't afford to take a course like i you know was barely making enough to afford to buy my products like i wasn't making anything at all so I started practicing making wispy sets like I would just you know take some inspirational pictures from Instagram and be like okay I'm gonna try to recreate this look and I made it my mission to learn how to do wispy sets and nobody taught me nobody told me this is the right or wrong way how to do it and now yeah I can go and take a, a wispy course but I feel like I'm at the point where I'm like okay I kind of know how to do them now <laughs> Um, so I would like to take an advanced course on it just because I feel like I already know the basics But yet again, everybody teaches differently. So maybe I could learn something, you know, learn different styles But I get a lot of questions on the daily of girls asking me um, You make wispy sets look so easy Like I have so many wispy videos on my YouTube If you guys are new here and you guys don't know I do have a lot of wispy videos and I show you guys how to do wispies um, But they are a little more advanced if you guys don't know the basics on lashing then doing a wispy set will be really hard for you so i recommend to learn the basics first and then work your way up to wispies because it is a little more advanced I, you do have to use more numbers and it gets a little confusing you know but in the beginning i had no idea what i was doing i thought i knew what i was doing but it, it took me almost like a year and a half to get to where i am now and I am explaining this and telling you guys that it's going to take some time, you know, if I can get to where I am now within two years, then you guys can definitely do it. And especially the fact that I'm giving you guys all like everything that I know, you guys can get this down faster than what I did. So take advantage of it. I'm telling you guys what I, the kind of information that I give you guys, I should be charging, but I don't because I want to share everything with you guys. And if you guys are interested, I will be doing a more advanced uh, classes next year. I will hopefully I will start training next year. So if you guys are interested in, in learning or getting more advanced with my wispy sets, then I will keep you guys updated. But the fact that I'm teaching you guys just the basics on wispies, you guys should take advantage of it because right now the most important style 
or the the most popular style right now that you guys can offer is the wispy set so make sure to take advantage of it and learn as much as you can from my videos because wispy sets will probably make you stand out from other lash artists in the area because i don't like to think of it as oversaturated um the lash industry is oversaturated i don't like to say that i don't like to think of it that way because there's always room for more lash artists there do you know how many people or girls or clients there are in your town and how many lash artists are in your town you should really look into that because then that's going to give you a clear understanding that there is more than enough people to go around so don't think of it as oversaturated think of it as an opportunity to grow and learn and always try to make yourself stand out from the next girl so yeah don't don't think of the lash industry as being oversaturated think of it as there is more opportunities room to grow room to um, improve and make yourself stand out and I feel like that's why I worked my butt off to learn how to do wispy sets because it was you know very popular and even more now because girls want that strip lash look they want to be able to look like they're wearing strip lashes without actually wearing strip lashes so the, f the fact that I'm even providing that information for you guys for free I definitely say take advantage of it because it most likely will make you stand out from the girl the lash artist next door you know so now leading into 2020 I feel like all of us can say that we really really struggled this year and I feel like this year was kind of a blessing in disguise for me but it it really put a lot of things into perspective for me um, and it made me realize how much I love doing this how much I love teaching you guys because at the beginning of the year um, back in January that's when I started making YouTube videos and I was like you know really getting into it and and it kind of uh, uh, started off slow, obviously, you know, but when March came around and we all had to go, you know, quarantine and, you know, lockdown and all that, like it made me realize how much I love lashing. And I went into like a really bad depression to the point where I didn't even know what to do with myself. It was so bad that I would cry a lot, you know, and, and it made me realize that I really do enjoy lashing and I really like it. And the fact that I couldn't do that because, you know, obviously we were all in lockdown, it 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 made me want to work harder and push myself and be better. And it was during that time when I, I actually started coming out with YouTube videos on lashing. And ever since then, I haven't stopped. So I feel like, you know, even though it did suck going through all that, it really motivated me to to take this to the next level you know and even i would like to thank quarantine <laughs> because if it wasn't for that i probably would have never started with um you know with lash videos maybe i would have you know a little down the road but if it wasn't for that i probably would have never started when i did start so um like i said you know it does it does suck with everything going on but it it kind of was like a blessing in disguise for me because it it helped me realize how much I love teaching here on YouTube. And I guess it, it made me realize in a way that, you know, some things are out of our control and sometimes we just need to stop and really enjoy life because I feel like during that time I was on a mission. I'm like, more clients, more clients, more clients, work, 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 work. I need, I need to make, them make more money. You know, I was like, go, 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 go all the time. And when all that happened, yeah, it, it sucked and it put me like in a really bad depression. But at the same time, it made me realize what I wanted to do. And if it wasn't for that, I probably would have not been teaching here on YouTube. Maybe down the road, like I, like I said. But it would have never pushed me into doing this. So, like I said, there are some things that are out of our control that we have no control over. But if you actually stop and pay attention and realize what's going around you. Like, what is God or you know the universe whatever you guys believe in trying to teach you then really pay attention to it and i feel like um during that time like i had you know during my depression i had i had asked god like is this what you want me to do like if this if you don't want me to do this then just completely take it away from me like i don't care you know but it clicked in my mind like something just clicked for me that i should be teaching on youtube and like you know here i am <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, like I never started YouTube f 
like for lashes i started youtube for more makeup and beauty and lifestyle videos and somehow it ended up turning into lash extension videos which i am so grateful because i wouldn't be where i am today without you guys and i am so thankful for you guys and all the love and support that you guys give me i feel like you know with everything going on in this world a lot of people have turned to lash extensions as a way to make money you know as, as a side hustle to make money so i feel like you know a lot of people do have you know lashes to be grateful for and who would have ever thought you know that i would be here today teaching you guys about lash extensions because i never thought that <laughs> now with everything going on i have a lot of projects that i've been working on so i'm excited about that so i feel like you know now that i'm at the end of the year and i look back this year was really hard for everybody but at the same time it has taught me a lot of things it's taught me to be patient it's taught me to just you know let life happen and i feel like this year i really enjoyed life and i feel like last year all i cared about was getting more clients all i cared about was making more money and i feel like it wasn't happening for me because I was working so hard on just that and it wasn't happening and this year I told myself I'm just gonna let it be you know whatever happens happens and ever since I changed to just you know focusing on attracting instead of working my butt off to make it happen um, it just came naturally and I am so grateful that I have a full clientele now and I don't mean like full clientele from like morning to night um, I mean full eight hours where I'm able to work you know the hours that I want but still be able to do YouTube for you guys the only reason why I don't take in more clients knowing that I can is because I still want to provide more time for you guys because as soon as I'm done lashing I record a video I'm sitting on my computer editing I don't go to sleep till like 3 in the morning for you guys and if it wasn't for me doing YouTube I would probably be focused more on getting my full clientele but the fact that I still want to dedicate more time to you guys I don't focus so much on lashing the way that I used to um, I focus on the girls that I have now and give my best to my girls that I have right now and next year I might be taking a couple in more clients a little bit more not that much probably I will save three more girls and that's it I will be done probably for the rest of the year just because I do have a couple projects that I'm working on that I want to pay attention to that and give myself my heart and my best to those projects as well and of course not take time away from you guys and YouTube so looking back um at everything you know that i've done honestly i feel like if it wasn't for youtube i probably will still be doing what i'm doing and probably be like so focused on just lashing you know but the fact that you guys have become such a huge part of my life i'm focusing on you guys as well so if i were to look back on this whole year i would probably say the biggest blessing for me is you guys is youtube and it's crazy to say that because because i never you know like i don't know like i've always like thought or knew that i would be doing youtube but not for this you know and the fact that i'm like i'm loving what i'm doing you know not only do i love lashing but i love youtube and i love teaching here on youtube and even showing you guys a side of me that that most people don't see you know and i feel like this year has really blessed me with you guys i don't i don't like to think of myself as successful because i'm not like i am not anywhere where i need, i want to be but i am grateful for where i am now and i feel like this year has really taught me how to be grateful for my life for my family for my friends for what i do have so i am going to be doing a video after this one on my 2021 year 2021 vision or new goal new years new goals whatever you call it like a vision board so i'm going to be doing like a vision board with you guys and going over my goals and my plans for next year so i am going to be doing a video all about my next year goals and plans and not really fully tell you guys everything because some things i do want to keep a secret until i'm ready to tell um but i also don't want any like bad juju <laughs> because i know some people are out there just waiting for me to fuck up <laughs> so um i definitely don't want to say everything because i want you know some things to happen another thing too is that this year i focused so much on 
working and just working 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 and then making money that i've got to actually live a little and focus on my well-being so i feel like next year i'm going to be focusing a lot on my health and you know spending quality time with my family because as uh, you guys can see i got a little chunky <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be trying to work as hard as I can being able to do three videos for you guys, if not two for sure. But like I said, I need to focus on my well-being and um, sometimes, you know, you do need to realize your priorities over other things. And if lash extensions are your number one way of making money, then hit it hard, girl. That's that's all I got to say. But I do sometimes I do a little too much for no reason. Like even my husband tells me, like, why do you work so much? <laughs> So even though I feel like I'm still fairly new in this journey, like I still have a long way to go, a lot has happened, you know, and, and I'm pretty sure even if you guys are barely starting off, a lot could happen within a week, a month, a couple months, a year, two years, a lot of stuff can happen. And I can sit here and explain to you guys all the little details of like bad clients being rude and telling me that it's my fault that they got an eye infection, but in reality, they were the ones that weren't cleaning their eyes so that they caused it on themselves like I could go into so many details about the stuff that I've gone through but at the end of the day it doesn't matter yes it does suck at that moment when it's happening but the only thing we can do is just as long as you're doing your job and you're explaining to your clients every single step on aftercare and making sure that your isolation is perfect if your lashing is on point and if their aftercare is on point everything will be good all you have to focus on is making sure that everything is on point your time will come later your clients will come later if you're so stressed out about why can't i get a client in then take the time and go find some new clients girl just do what you gotta do but don't just sit around and complain about it don't just sit around wishing that your time will get better when you're not putting in the work um one thing i will say is don't stress out about the time and i, I even said this in my how to have confidence as a lash artist in that video i explained to you guys or you know pretty much teach you guys how to have confidence and not let little things like that bother you um i feel like that has really helped me out these last two years is pretty much just just having that confidence in yourself that you can do anything like i said in the beginning i wanted to do wispies like that was my mission like i wanted to learn wispies and i had all the confidence that i was going to get it down one way or another and looking back now i'm so thankful that i never gave up because it was so hard like not having anybody sitting there telling me that i'm doing it wrong or do it this way it was so hard guys and the fact that i'm teaching you guys like you guys better take some notes <laughs> so that pretty much was my journey you know and the fact that i'm able to share that with you guys and bring you guys along the rest of the journey with me is a big blessing for me and i'm grateful for all you guys support and your love so i think i'm gonna finish off the year by saying thank you guys and i am excited for 2021 and what it has to bring and all the projects that i'm working on and everything that i have to offer to the world so if you guys have been supporting me from the very beginning then i want to thank you guys so starting off next year i think i want to bring it back down to the basics i know i did a lot of advanced stuff this year but i was just so excited and i wanted to teach you guys everything so starting next year i will be bringing it back to the basics with classics isolation a little more taping videos um all that good stuff so i wanted to make this video really quick i feel like i talked a lot about a lot of stuff um and even though i did struggle a lot more than what i explained in this video i don't want to make it depressing i wanted to give you guys some little motivation and tell you guys that you guys can do it if i got to where i am now in two years you guys can do so much better because i'm giving you guys all my secrets all my little nuggets all the information you guys need to know again i want to thank you guys so if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos and thank you guys so much for watching your love and support means the world to me and also happy new years i'll see you guys next year